This video will give you an update on our new building progress as of December 31st, 2015. But first an overview for new members and visitors. When we left the Episcopal Church of the Resurrection eight years ago, we were offered worship space at a Baptist church in Rowlett for a year. After that, we rented restaurant space at Chandler's Landing for a year. We have been worshiping at Heritage Christian Academy for six years. We have been blessed to have many wonderful experiences at HCA, including Sunday services, ordinations, and fellowship together. In that time, we have been looking for land suitable for a church. Everything we looked at was either unsuitable or very expensive. We finally found land available in a residential development on Highway 205, two miles south of Interstate 30. So we took out a small loan to buy five acres of land in the township of McClendon Chisholm in Rockwall County. And by God's grace and our generous congregation, we paid off the loan in less than a year. Next, we hired a capital campaign consultant, Randy Watts, and a building contractor, Charles Hanger. Both are godly men who have done a great job helping us start the process of building a new church. We formed a building team headed by Hal Meter to work with Charles to develop a plan for the property. After many meetings and many decisions along the way, we settled on a design and broke ground in April 2015. We invited our members, friends of the church, and our neighbors around the property to join us for our groundbreaking ceremony. We had quite a celebration that day on the property, celebrating what God is doing in our midst. Charles Hanger and the building team were all excited to be actually working on the property. We began shopping for a bank loan, then we signed a loan and waited for permits and good weather so the grading of the property could begin. Father Matt Hill searched salvage sites worldwide for stained glass windows and found some in England. There was an interest in buying stained glass windows for the new church building and what we did was uh, research several architectural salvage companies uh, looking for old windows that uh, were no longer in use in uh, church buildings that had been torn down. The windows are designed to go behind an altar. Um, the highest window is uh, 12 and a half feet tall by about two feet wide and the windows on either side are about 10 and a half feet tall. Uh, the image itself is the transfiguration where you see uh, Christ um, in his, the fullness of his glory revealed in the gospel account of the transfiguration and he's on either side you see Moses and Elijah and we look forward to having them installed in our new church. The crated windows are in storage awaiting construction. We were offered 200 used chairs for the bargain price of one dollar each so we bought them. Then we received a donation of a new freezer for the new church kitchen. The chairs are stored in Father Don and Glenna's garage and the freezer is there too keeping their bluebell ice cream nice and cold until the new church is ready. The grading work finally began in early December 2015. I met Charles Hanger's construction superintendent, Don Taylor, on the site one day, and he promised me that they would do the grading as quickly as possible.
and he was right. Great job guys. Next we'll be laying the forms and pouring concrete for the actual foundation. We'll look forward to that. <laughs>